Hello, hello, everybody. Tashina Gonzalez here with Vidactiva. And thank you, everyone, who just hopped on here to see me on Instagram and or Facebook. I am back to share everything I just shared with all of my English-speaking friends. So as you hop on here, give me a wave, a hi, a hello. Let me know what city and state you are hailing from. And if you are watching the replay, no matter what venue, if that's on Instagram, Facebook, or later on YouTube, hashtag replay. So as you know, all all last month we talked about natural ways to boost our immune system so that we can lower our fear of what's going on as we are sitting here in May of 2020. And this month we are talking about all of the things that we can do to have to minimize some of those um, pre-existing conditions that may give us even more fear. So we've already talked about natural ways to deal with asthma and natural ways to deal with diabetes and pre-diabetes. So if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you hop on my YouTube channel right after this and watch those to get that information. It's just my name, Tashina Gonzalez. But today we are going to talk about natural ways to have a healthy heart. So look at some information as usual that I will share with you guys. So the first three things to remember, the basic things, if you want to keep your heart healthy, you need to choose nutritious food, stay active, and toss bad habits like smoking. So the American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes of heart pumping activity per week. Another thing you need to do is spend less time sitting. As I read it in a sum, like, I need to make the goal to do that. Um, it's really important now that we're sitting at home. A lot of us are working from home or schooling from home to make sure that we get up on a regular basis. So I'm definitely going to make sure I have a goal to do that. Um, if you're already getting 150 minutes of exercise, you might want to increase it to 300 minutes. And you want to include two days of resistance or weight training. You definitely need to get some moderate intensity activities on those other days, which include things like brisk walking, so at least 2.5 miles per hour, water aerobics, dancing, like ballroom or social, gardening, tennis, biking, and it can be slower than 10 miles per hour. So when it comes to nutrition, because food is medicine, if we want to help any condition, we're gonna do, we're gonna exercise and we're gonna eat right. So when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to a healthy heart, there is lots of evidence that support a vegan or vegetarian diet is very supporting. But if you are not quite ready to go that route, the foods that you're going to avoid, which again, we talk about on a regular basis, we know what it is. Avoid things that are high in trans fat and saturated fats like fried foods, crackers, ba baked goods. Get rid of all of the junk food and all of the fast food. What we're going to eat a lot of it are foods that are rich in potassium. Sweet potatoes, bananas, spinach, avocado, acorn squash, kidney beans. We're also going to make sure that we have Foods that are rich in omega fatty acids like clean fish, like herring, albacore tuna, lake trout, and salmon. We're going to add in some flax seeds and tree nuts on a regular basis. We're going to have foods that are high in fiber and antioxidant rich foods like oatmeal, apple with skin, lentils, lots of berries, and raisins. And we're going to eat foods that are high in B or folic acid like broccoli, spinach, kale, and asparagus. A few other things, and really some of the things that I'm mentioning are going to be in those foods that we got to eat on a regular basis, but a couple other things of natural things we're going to make sure that we include are garlic. So start cooking with garlic a lot. Garlic has been used for centuries to boost heart health as well as many other things. When you crush it, it releases a compound called allicin, and this is what gives garlic its stinky odor. Scientists think it helps keep your arteries flexible and lets blood flow better. There are numerous well-documented studies on garlic and its benefit to cardiovascular health. It helps lower cholesterol, blood pressure, and inflammation. And this combined effect can help decrease the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Another thing that you're going to include is CoQ10, coenzyme Q10. So, this is found naturally in everybody's tissue, including the heart, and it helps your cells make energy that you need to grow. And research shows that it keeps blood vessels flexible. And 
And there has been research that shows when taken with selenium, it can help elderly individuals cut their risk of heart-related deaths in half. And vitamin K2. So this is frequently linked to heart health. There have been studies showing that diets rich in vitamin K, so leafy green vegetables, do help um, decrease the risk of heart disease. So those are some of the things that you are going to do. So now, as usual, I always share with you guys some additional extra things to add in while you're changing your diet, while you're increasing your exercise that are just going to give you a boost. So definitely one of the things you're going to do is Ninja Red. And the reality is no matter what I'm talking about, you need to be taking Ninja Red because it is a whole food super fruit supplement that helps every system on your body. So even if you don't hear me mention it on whatever live I'm doing it, make sure this is your first step. But in particular, this is going to have some potassium for you that we talked about. It's going to have a bunch of berries that we talk about. So those antioxidants and it's going to have some fiber for you. So this is why this is going to be part of your regimen. One of the other things that you're going to want to do is Cardiogize. Cardiogize was formulated to support healthy heart function and circulation. So this actually has 80% of your vitamin K. It has 40% of your folate and 180% of your selenium. It also has garlic, among tons of other supporting herbs and essential oils. Um, if you Google some essential oils that are going to support heart health, you're going to see probably the majority of the ones that are in here, such as cypress, lavender, helichrysum, rosemary, and cinnamon, among other things. So these two things, hands down, have to have for a healthy heart. Some other things that you might want to add in is omegas. If you are not eating clean fish three to five times a week and you're not eating tree nuts or seeds that are going to give you those omegas on a daily basis, you may want to add in omega gize. Omega gize is going to give you some of that, um, those omegas. So I, I don't have it with me. I usually do take it, but I ran out, so I got to get some more. But I take omega gize because I am highly allergic to anything that can give me those omegas. Another one you might want to add on is MindWise. So MindWise does have that CoQ10 for you. Um, and this is going to help. It's a brain supporting blend. It's also going to help with heart and cardiovascular health, health as well. Um, Cardiogize does have CoQ10 as well. Forgot to mention that. And lastly, another good blend is going to be longevity. So that's going to be another good one that's going to be for healthy heart. Again, you can Google and there'll be a bunch of other essential oils that you might want to add in there. But those are some of the power hitters that you're definitely going to want to use. With that, I thank everyone for joining me. Again, as you hop on, please give me your city, state, um, say hi, hello, and hashtag replay if you are watching the replay. And I look forward to seeing the majority of you guys. We have a class on the benefits of home-based business in one hour on Zoom. So I hope to see every single one of you guys on there. If you need the information, hit me up so I can send it to you. But otherwise, I will see you guys in a bit. Have an amazing evening and see you then, guys. Bye.